Last week, the BU Jazz Combo headed down to New York to do a gig with Robert Pinsky, the former Poet Laureate. So uh, we got to practice with him first. We were just starting to think about antique a little bit. Okay. None of us have ever played with a poet before. And you know, we did a couple songs, but they weren't, they weren't perfect. Are you guys hearing me? Something's really off. Um, <clears throat> for one thing, I'm feeling I'm pushing my voice hard. I just suddenly felt And we're all thinking, oh my God, you know, this is gonna be a disaster, what are we gonna do? So we get there and we just started playing and it felt great. We lived together for hours in a house of a thousand rooms and we were parted for a thousand years. We didn't have to worry about overpowering him. We didn't have to worry about letting him show off. He was really generous. For me, the idea is very much not that I'm reading poems and musicians are playing with me, but that if it's three other musicians, we're a quartet. If it's four, as with the BU kids, then we're a quintet. So we really got to experiment on stage. He gave us all solos. He let us all shine our own way, and there was a lot of listening. I listen to them, they listen to me, and I try to make the musical quality of the words and the expressive quality of the music very responsive to one another in creating one thing. When I turned, you went to hell. When I turned, you went to hell. When your ship fled the battle, I followed you and lost the world. When your ship fled the battle, I followed you and lost the world without regret, but with stormy recriminations. For me, the medium of all poetry is not a page it's not writing. Poems medium is the voice. And Pinsky's voice is just tremendous. Reading a poem off a page and not hearing it, it's like reading the score of music. So whenever you call attention to the dual nature of poetry as physical as well as intellectual, uh, you're helping people learn how to love this quite fundamental art. Pinsky's got this great energy that everybody fed off of. It was just this great confluence. We played our asses off. 